Sergeant Preston of the Northwest Mounted Police with Yukon King, swiftest and strongest lead dog breaking the trail in the relentless pursuit of lawbreakers in the wild days of the Yukon. Back to the days of the gold rush as Sergeant Preston with his wonder dog Yukon King meets the challenge of the Yukon. This is the Yukon, the territory patrolled by the Northwest Mounted Police, an outpost of civilization where at the turn of the century, thousands of rugged individuals in search of gold faced overwhelming hardships and unknown perils. The Klondike area east of Dawson, where some men prospected for gold while others made a living as trappers. Winter Patrol, Sergeant Preston decided to stop long enough to see his friends, the Tanner Brothers, who lived in an isolated area about four miles south of Placerville. Preston knew that Tom, about two years older, had always been protective towards Sam. Ho, ho! <laughs> well, that's something new. Two front doors and a small cabin. Hi there, Sergeant Preston. Oh, how are you, Sam? Hey, you have a new front door. Divide the house? Sort of. Sergeant Preston. Hello, Tom. Welcome. Come on in. Come in my side. All right. You stay here with the team, will you, King? I don't think I'll be very long. Well, things have changed around here since your father died. What's, uh, what's that? Divides the room. Oh? You mean each of you lives separately on his own side of the cabin, huh? Yeah. You know, I knew your father, and I've known both of you for a long time. And I've never heard of you having a misunderstanding. We didn't, when Dad was alive. Your dad's been dead for less than a month, and already you're dividing the property. Now, what happened? Well, the trouble Watch began... Out, with... Sergeant. You're on my side of the house, so I'll do the talking. You called on me. I called on both of you. Excuse me. All right. I'm on both sides of the cabin. Now, what's this all about? Well, when Dad died, he left us $2,000 in cash and a gold claim. And this cabin. We divided the cash. Then I wanted to sell the claim and split the money we'd get from it between us. We should work that claim. I'm a trapper, not a miner. What's more, I think the claim's no good. Dad never got a thing from it. Well, he could have if he just spent some money for machinery. I wanted to use our cash to buy the equipment we need. Not my share. You divided the cabin over a misunderstanding of the gold claim, right? Yes. Yeah. Sam, if you don't think the claim is any good, and Tom does, maybe he'd buy your share for the $1,000. Would you sell it for that? Well, well, sure, that would solve everything. Well, yeah, it sure would. I didn't think of that. Neither did I. I I'd be glad to sell my share for $1,000. It's a deal. Uh, well, it'll take all my cash, but oh, the bank will lend me money for machinery. All right, then it's settled. Be no more fighting. Now shake hands like a couple of men and forget the argument. <laughs> you know, if you two weren't so bullheaded and hot-headed and stubborn, you'd have thought of this yourselves. Well, we're just like Dad, hot-headed and stubborn. <laughs> I I'll go into town right away, Sam, and, and I'll draw my money out of the bank. Well, I'll go in with you and sign over my interest. Uh, if, if you're going into Placerville, Sergeant, we could go in together. No, I have a few stops to make. You go on ahead of me. Maybe I'll see you in town, huh? Okay. Hey, Tom. Yeah? You, uh, stepped over the line. What line? <laughs> <laughs> After completing his business in the area, Sergeant Preston headed for town. It was a perfect Yukon day, despite the temperature being well below zero. When he arrived on the outskirts of town, he was in a happy frame of mind, looking forward to a visit with old friends. For it was here in this pleasant village where the lawman was first stationed when he came to the Klondike. Sergeant Preston, 
Constable Drake, how are you? Fine. <laughs> Hello, Nick King. I knew you and the sergeant would be here soon. Oh, you knew? Yes, yeah, Sam Tanner came by. Said that you were on the way. <laughs> here, I've got some mail for you. Thank you. Hi, Tom. Tom Tanner, I wonder what's eating him. I don't know. Let's find out. Is Sam still in your office? Yes. Something's going on in there. Stay with me. Stay. Break that up. Come on, break it up, I said. That's enough. Sam swindled me. That's it. Quiet, quiet, both of you. What do you mean, Sam swindled you? He un unloaded his share of the mine on me. Took all my money. I was the one who suggested the deal. It wasn't Sam's idea. Ever since Dad died, he's wanted to sell that mine. He didn't have the nerve to try to sell his interest to me. He probably figured I'd turn him down. Uh, but when you suggested it, he jumped at the chance. Well, of course he did, but... Well, he could have told me that the mine was worthless. Worthless? Yes, and I think you knew it all along. Who said it was worthless? The bankers. They wouldn't lend me enough money to buy machinery to work the claim. He says he investigated the mine when, when my dad tried to borrow money. Oh, Tom, I didn't know that. I'd like to believe you, Sam, but you could always pull the wool over my eyes. Listen, Tom, to prove I had no intention of taking advantage of you, I'll buy back my share. You will? Of course I will. And that should prove that Sam acted in good faith. Well, yeah, I... It's mighty square, you, Sam. I'll have to draw my money out of the bank, Tom. Is it still open? No, they were closing when I left, but there's no hurry, Sam. I'm sorry I lost my temper. That's no, all right. Forget it, Tom. <laughs> So you fought again, needlessly. Well, it was my fault, Sergeant. I knew Sam was in here, and well, I came rushing in and called him a swindler and started swinging. Come on up at the cafe, Sam. I'll, I'll treat. Oh, uh, thanks, Tom, but I've got to get back to my trap lines. You know, I've lost a lot of time, and, well, it's going to be way after dark when I finish. Will you be in town for a while? Well, I'm going to check on the Indian village, Tom. I expect to be back here tomorrow before I start out for Dawson. Well, we hope to see you again, Sergeant. Well, I hope so. And uh, keep the lid on those tempers, huh? Sure. Oh, Tom, what do you call that uh, gold claim of yours? The Black Ace. With a load of medical supplies on his sled, Preston set out for a Cochin Indian village to the northeast. One of the many duties of the police was to prevent epidemics by making periodic inspections of the Indian settlements. The Black Ace Mine of the Tanner Brothers was located in the hills above the famous El Dorado Strike. For a while it had paid off well, but now the area was considered mined out and most of the prospectors had left. Only a few remained behind to eke out an existence from mine tailings, the scant residue of ore that remains in a worn out mine. Unknown to the Tanner brothers, three men had been at work in the old mine tunnel for some time, illegally accumulating a small amount of gold from the tailings. Home, such as it is. Well, at least it's a shelter. That is until the Tanner brothers discover what we're doing. I guess Blackie's still working in the tunnel. Hey, Slade, Nick, we struck it rich. Gold. I was poking at the tunnel wall with my pick. This big hunk of rock fell down, and there it was. Gold. Gold! Well, I gotta be shown. Come on. Well, the fellows that worked this claim gave up a little too soon. Well, speak up. Is it gold? Yes, it's gold. I told you, we're rich. Gold, boy! Now, calm down, both of you. We're no better off now than we were before. We don't own this claim. But we spoiled the gold, didn't we? Sure. We stole a few dollars worth of gold from the tailings. But we can't get out of any real pay dirt unless we own the mine. Well, we take away from the guys that own it. Yeah. Now, the Tanners think it's worthless. They do? Yeah, I heard talk about it while Nick and I are in town. Hey, we'll call on them. Do you know where they live? Yeah, about four miles the other side of town. Now, we'll start right away. Hey, yeah, but it's almost dark and snow's coming. Don't matter. I can find the cabin. Now, Blackie, you stay here at the shack and see that nobody comes prowling around. Nick and I will visit the Tanners, and we'll come back with that title one way or another. That evening, shortly after dark, 
Slade and Nick were on their way to the Tanner cabin. Hello, Tanner. Howdy, gents. What can I do for you? My name's Slade. I saw you in town this afternoon. Oh, yeah. I thought you looked familiar. I saw you there, too. Nick Smith. Howdy. Howdy. Tanner, we're here on business. Heard about a worthless mine your father left. In the Black Ace. Yeah, we were looking the place over and decided it'd be a good location for a sawmill. The good timber in the hills. Yeah, there's better places for a sawmill. Maybe, but we like this location. Mind showing me your title? No, I don't mind, but... Well, we might make a deal to buy the place if the title's in order. I'll get it. Where's your brother? He's out running his traps. He ought to be back pretty soon, though. There it is. According to this, you're the sole owner. Well, yeah, but my brother expects to buy a half interest. How much do you want for the property? Well, I'd have to talk that over with my brother first. And b before we made any decisions, I'd want, to, I'd want to go out and look at the mine. We haven't been there since Dad died. I'm not sure the black ace has been worked out. Come back in a couple of days. Might be able to make a deal. We want a deal now. Not a chance. We came to get title of that property. Now, if necessary, we'll get rough. Well, you, you might be able to take it by force, but the property won't be yours unless I sign it over. You'll sign it over. Not a chance. You said your brother was coming back soon. Now, when he walks in that door, we'll have a drop on him, too. Now, you'll sign the mine over to us, or watch him die. Why, you love <laughs> I'll fix him. Don't shoot. We need him alive. Well, hold him still so I can slug him, will you? I didn't mean to do it, Nick. Come on, Tanner, I need your signature. I'll take him down to my office and I'll give him a thorough examination to learn the cause of death. He was shot. Yeah, but I'm not sure the bullet killed him. We don't even know his identity. The way the fire burned everything, it was... One of the Tanner brothers shot him, no doubt. Sergeant Preston. Sergeant, we've been waiting for you. Morning, Constable. You heard about this when I got back to town this morning. Hello, Dr. Morgan. Nice to see you, Sergeant. A trapper brought word that Tanner's cabin had burned. He said he thought there was a body in the ruin, so I brought the coroner and a sled. One of the Tanner brothers? My identification's very difficult. Maybe impossible. You can see what the fire did to the building. Must be one of the Tanner brothers. Who else would be in the cabin? It's a hard way to die. Dr. Morgan found that he'd been shot. Shot? It's likely he was dead before the fire touched him. Of course, I can't tell. I'm Sergeant, sorry. this is a murder case. Either Sam or Tom is a killer. You seem very sure. I am sure, Sergeant. Those brothers have been feuding ever since their father died. You remember yesterday in my office they were fighting. Oh, yes, they were quarreling. Not deadly enemies. Furthermore, they settled their argument. I think they renewed the feud last night. One shot the other, then fled. How do you account for the fire? The killer probably set fire to the cabin in the hope of destroying evidence of murder. We'll find the brother who's alive and arrest him for murder. What is it, King? Look! Sam Tanner. Still think he's a fugitive from justice? Probably came back when he realized we'd find him sooner or later. Oh, hello there, King. How are you, boy? I've never seen King friendly to a man that had committed murder. Sergeant, shall I question Tanner? In those cases in your territory, Constable, you take charge. 
Hello, Sam. Tanner, where have you been? Tell us everything you did from the time you left town yesterday. Well, I, I left Tom in town and started working my traps. I got a late start, so I didn't get finished till after dark. When I got here, I found the cabin was burned to the ground. There were a lot of flames around, and I saw tracks leading from the shed from the... Tracks, eh? Well, yes, sir. They were tracks made by a man pulling a toboggan, and they came out of the shed. A toboggan? Well, that was a small toboggan that Tom and I used for hauling wood. We kept it in that shed. Well, I tried to follow the tracks, hoping I'd find my brother. Been following the tracks all this time? Well, no, sir. I couldn't follow them very far. The storm got so bad. I lost my bearings, so I camped till daylight. Then I realized I'd been traveling around in a circle. Maybe a pal got hurt in the battle, and Sam took him away on the sled, leaving Tom in the ruins to burn up. What was that about Tom? Sam, a body was found in the ruins of the cabin. It, it can't be identified. Must be your brother, and he was shot. Know anything about it? No. I don't... We know you and your brother were fighting. Did you kill him? No, oh, no, of course not. My brother dead? Sergeant, Sergeant, those tracks, the ones that I thought belonged to Tom, they must have been made by the one who killed my brother. It's quite possible, Sam. The evidence is against you, Tanner. Evidence that you're the one who killed Tom. You started the fire hoping to destroy the evidence of murder, didn't you, no, Sam? No, I... I didn't know anything about it. Tanner, I'm holding you on suspicion of murder. Unless the sergeant overrides me. It's your case, Constable. Hold him if you think it's the thing to do. I do think so. Now wait. Sergeant, Sergeant, please don't let him take me. I've got to find the man who made those tracks. I thought they were made by Tom because a toboggan was missing from the shed, but now if, if he's dead, those tracks must have been made by the killer. I've got to find him. I've got to find the man who killed my brother. Now take it easy, Sam. We'll follow the criminal if we can pick up his scent. The tracks are gone. I, I suppose the scent is, too. No, the scent will stay in the air. The king can follow it if he has something to start with. We'll do our best. Come on, king. We have a job to do. torn cloth from a man's trousers. And so it belongs to the man that killed Tom. Here, get the scent of this, King. Good. Following the scent, King set a fast pace north from the scene of the fire, past the town of Placerville, and on toward the Black Ace claim. While Sergeant Preston gave King the scent, Tom slept in the shack on the Black Ace claim. It was restless sleep permitted by his captors after long hours of stubborn refusal to meet their demands. Clay, I've been thinking. Don't strain yourself. I'll do the thinking for both of us. You said you had to leave Nick's body in that fire. Well? Well, maybe the law figures Tanner who's dead. You know what fire can do. Now, if the law figures he's dead, well, then we show up claiming we bought his property. We're going to claim we made the deal before the cabin burned down. Now, that's our story. We stick to it, and nobody can prove different. After we made the deal, we don't know nothing about Tanner. That's none of our affair. If a slave, now, supposing it goes the other way, what if the law finds out the dead man's not Tanner? It's still none of our affair. We don't know nothing about what happened in Tanner's cabin. Chances are the law will figure Tanner killed the man and then lit out. He'll probably be hunted as a murderer. Well, just one thing. We've got to get rid of Tanner so we can't talk. That'll be easy. After we get a signature. I don't think he's ever going to sign. Now we're going to give him one more chance. I'm going to try a new approach. Now get him up. He's had enough rest. townspeople had claimed that one of the brothers had killed the other. Preston had known the family for years, and this didn't seem possible. A bitter quarrel, yes, but not murder. Still, there was evidence of bad feeling between the two boys, the divided cabin, the fist fight in town. The lawman proceeded along the route with a heavy heart.
So while we were looking around the tunnel, we found this new vein of gold. I should have told you the truth in the first place, Tom. You're too smart to swallow a lie like I told you about going to build a sawmill. Why all the soft talk, Slade? Because I think you're smart. You must have is the ones who found the gold were entitled to profit by it. But you have no right. You... Ah, what's the use? Well, we found the gold, but we'll cut you in for a share. First you beat me, then you want to make me a partner. Well, I've got nothing against you, Tom. Fact is, I like you. Why, didn't I put a park over to keep you from freezing when I brought you here on the sled? Now, if you'll just sign this paper... I'll never sign. Why should I sign over my property to you? You'll sign it right now or else. Even though you kill me, you'll still need my signature. If necessary, I'll forge it. I'd rather die than make a deal with you. <laughs> Sounds like a dog. Keep your eye on Tanner. I'll take a look. It's a Mountie, and he's coming this way. Get Tanner in the back room and gag him. Morning, officer. Preston's my name. Sergeant Preston. I know you, Sergeant. Slade's mine. Fine looking dog you have there. Thanks. You here alone? No, my pals are inside. We got caught in a snowstorm, stopped here for shelter. Last night a man was murdered at the Tanner cabin. Do you know anything about it, Slade? Who, me? Why, gosh, no. How would I know anything about a murder? You mind if I talk to your pals? Go ahead. One thing. Hold it, Preston. Hands high and don't try anything. You just proved to be the man I'm after. You're under arrest, Slade. You're all through making arrests, Preston. We... your back. Boy, will your brother be glad to see you. Sam, someone here to see you. Tom! <laughs> you all right? Sure. Three men tried to steal the black ace. The woman was killed in your cabin. That's the body we found in the ruins. They captured me, but Sergeant Preston found him. They confessed and everything. Wait, but That's all right. I'll tell you the whole story later. The big news right now is gold. There's a rich vein of gold in that mine, Sam. Well, then you won't want to sell me back your half interest, will you? Uh, we made a deal, Sam. You know, your offer to buy back your interest was the smartest move you ever made. You still intend to sell, Tom? <laughs> yes, sir. -y. Well, I figured you would. If Sam wants to run his trap lines, that's all right with me. I'll run the mine. But I'm going to see to it that my brother gets all that's coming to him. And the law will see that these crooks get all that's coming to them. Well, King, this case is closed.